I love kids, man. I say, me, but when you ever seen somebody show you an ugly baby picture and all you can compliment is the outfit? You ever had that shit? Get a little man man. Oh, yeah, Charlie got the new Jordans, huh? He... Charlie gonna be all right when they get a little older. A little strong. You ever see a strong face baby? Nigga, six months. Nigga look like Morgan Freeman. Like this motherfucker. Old face ass nigga, man. Like saying old face baby. Hard to figure him out. <laughs>
But he said to me something that black people in America say to one another when the other travels. Say, hey, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. He said, hey, is it a lot of white folks? I'm like, what? <laughs> Motherfucker, this is where they make white people. <laughs> this is their Africa. It's such a racially tense atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the privilege of like other black people who call white people crackers and honkies. We don't have that privilege because we work side by side. So if we can call them a cracker or honky, they can call us a nigger, right? Like I go to other places and they go, oh, this white boy crazy and I don't know what. Right now what? If it was flipped around and they go, this black boy crazy motherfucker, what you call me? Boom, can't do that. So, but in DC we don't have that privilege. And so we always gotta be politically correct. We're the most politically correct comedians ever. Like the other night they had on internet that Dave Chappelle didn't have such a good show. He had a, he, he, and he said in rebuttal something that was only funny to his roots, his DC black comedian roots. He goes, I guess this ruins my chances for running for Congress. Boom, he said that, and he was in Hartford, Connecticut. Them dumb motherfuckers didn't know what the fuck, they all on the witness protection program. Them motherfuckers didn't know what the fuck that meant. But in DC, we was like, ah, cause you always watching what you say, what you do.